What's up guys, this is Alex bringing you floor 2 of Recore's Tower of Eden. Or Eden Tower, I call it Tower of Eden. So here we go, we're starting off, you have to boost through the uh, regen boosters. Pretty uh, easy there. Next part, we have to go in between all these shields. Again, this one's pretty simple, there's like a couple of them, so that's not really hard. And then now we actually add more shields in. So now I have to go through multiple shields moving up, down, left, and right. You just gotta time it right. There's no when to start and when you get going. Everything goes in succession, so it all goes in a pretty good order. So you can kind of tell when to jump and when things are gonna change. You might want to wait on a couple since these uh, floors don't disappear. You can stand on them for you know a little bit, just waiting for them. So you can actually jump. And here we go up to like a boss fight up here. Um, yeah. I kind of just skip over this. This one's pretty easy. So I'm not going to show this one. You should be able to do it fine. So there's the end of that one. And we're going to keep on moving. Onward we go. Through, uh... This, oh yeah, disappearing shields and through boosters. So now you'll see shields actually flip back and forth. And then throughout the tower you'll notice this happens a lot. So you just kind of make sure to figure out when they're going to change. This part here, uh, you kind of have to choose when to go. I went when they were kind of lined up a little bit. And I could actually just drop down into this one. See, that worked out really nicely. And look at that, perfectly through. Now we're on to our next, uh, you know, fight area, because there's a big circular pattern here. Wait, no, no, I'm just kidding, no. Who are these? I forgot there's another set of these things. These, you might want to, you know, take a second and look what they're doing before you go going. And then once you see a good pattern, just go for it. You know, here I actually kind of went to the left there, went back around. And that helped out a lot. And then I grabbed the boost and just, you know, flew over here. That's one way you can do that one. You can probably come from underneath. It might be a little bit harder, so I just chose that way. That floor is not important. You can just jump right over it. And here, always jump through these when they're close to you. They'll come back through and you can jump again and use it again. And just keep using things. There we go. I want to take off as soon as that one comes back. And here we go, this boss area. Now this area here I found was a little more challenging than the other ones, hence I took a while to complete this one. Now for a while I was fine for the first like three waves, three or four waves, and then after that it just got super hard. Now if you run into a situation where you're about to die, you're probably better off just jumping off than actually them getting you because you'll actually spawn back in where you left off. Or if you die, you have to restart the whole thing. So every time you're about to get hurt or get knocked off, just jump off and you'll start off right where you left off. Also, if you're low on health, just jump off and just kind of boost back and forth. And you'll also get some health back too. You're just stalling the falling process, so while you're falling, you can actually get health back as well. Because your health doesn't regen while you're falling, like while you're not actually in the game, but if you just boost back and forth, you'll see it kind of goes up. So that's how I got through this area. Uh, it took like probably, you know, half an hour because I'm probably not a high enough level to actually do this. So a little bit harder than I thought. But yeah, so just keep jumping off the whole time you complete it and that makes it really easy. Next up, we're going to head up here. More uh, curving panels we got. And this puzzle. This one, you might want to wait a couple minutes. And I held minutes, but like see what's going on here. You actually have to jump underneath the platforms and come back up to actually do this one. And don't get flipped like that, it's probably not good. You want to drop down and then pull back up and then you're good to go. You can get through this really easily, but that was like the hardest part. I kept doing it and didn't see what was happening and then you actually have to see, you have to go underneath. And then for this final part, these shields change really fast, so just pick one direction and just keep going that way. They'll change by the time you get there usually. And here we go. There is floor two. Made it all the way to the end. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please sub and like, and check out the other videos.